Republican state lawmakers say they have a budget that makes sense. But Democrats say not so fast. Republicans say their House and Senate majority budget will be ready for a conference committee by Monday. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains, though, this is by no means a done deal, huh, Susan Elizabeth? That's right, Frank. You know, this is the time when lawmakers in the building behind me do what you voted them in to do. They argue over their priorities, but there is one thing it seems everyone agrees on. They've got a long way to go in just three short weeks. When the gavel dropped four months ago, the energy was high and the expectations realistic. I don't think it's going to be easy. I've said all along, I, don't th I think this is going to be a very uh, contentious session because we have these very significant differences. Yes, they do. Republicans want to pass $1.15 billion in tax relief. And we're going to fight for it. We, we think it's a good tax bill. We hope that uh, the governor can be convinced of that, just like our transportation bill, just like our education bill. We want to make sure that we put some money back in the pockets of Minnesotans. Uh, we've had record uh, surpluses for some time now, um, and it's time that Minnesotans share in the prosperity that they've created for the state. It is just absolutely phony accounting. You can tell Democrats not so convinced. It doesn't reflect uh, the things that I'm hearing, you know, Minnesotans say. Um, it, it, it does not reflect how do we get everybody into the economy. It does not reflect our transit priorities and how do we grow. Everything uh, in their budget goes to tax cuts. And again, things like early childhood education, pre-kindergarten, things that I think are huge priorities really get short shrift or even cut. Dayton says he won't accept any legislation concerning abortion or school vouchers, but knows that the next three weeks will require compromise. Well, you know, we have some very major differences and we're gonna have to spend some time resolving those. Now, if you're at home shaking your head going, how can oil and water work together? The governor points out that they did it on the health care plan and somehow, some way, they'll do it again. We certainly hope so. All right. Thanks, Susan Elizabeth.